Hey guys, what's up? It's DJ coming at you. Hey, I haven't been, I haven't done a video in a while on my RC projects, but I've had this truck for probably about a year, but um, just not getting around to it. Yes, it's true. It is the SCX-10 II. I am just now getting around to it. I know it's not old, but uh, uh, yeah, getting around to it. This is my color scheme. Yes, I did paint it green. Okay. I think it's pretty cool. Kind of got a lime green thing going on. Uh, painted it on the inside, then I flattened it out to get rid of the shine on the outside. Uh, I decided to go with a bling, green and blue blue theme, so to speak. Uh, here's a chassis right here. Man, I had this thing put together months ago, you know. But things come up, you know, get put on the back burner or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's a brand new truck. We got it months ago, probably about a year ago. But anyway. Uh, here's a box even that came in. The SCX-10 too. I'm pretty, kind of excited to get it going, you know. I've been dragging my feet about it. I'm trying to make it look as scale as possible. Uh, I even got rid of the stock tires. And I'm using uh, some tires from one of my older vehicles that I used to have that I don't have anymore. Which was the, uh, what was it? It was the, uh, blah, 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 blah. Twin hammers, yeah. Actually, has the twin amber tires on there. They're kind of a smaller profile than the original stock tires. So, I wanted to use them because they're smaller. And the tires that came with it, to me, look a little awkward. They're too, a little bit too big for my liking. Um, even the suspension. I'm going to try to have the suspension more on the scale look. You know, I even put uh, uh, softer springs so that it will drop really low. I want realistic suspension travel. So... I got some other things I have to do in order to get that. I'm looking at actually putting some limiting straps on the back. Did you see how far it drops down? See my springs? Uh-uh. Can't have that. So anyway, I'm looking at putting some, uh, getting some rubber from like an inner tube and making some limiting straps. So that way it will only drop down so far, you know, so I don't have all that, that, that plop going on there. But anyway, that's part of the plan. What else? Uh, bumper wise, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as the bumper. Because I don't like the stock bumper. It's very unrealistic. Uh, again, that looks dope. Very dope. Well, actually, I got it backwards. <laughs> it's going to be like that. But I got one more part I'm painting. That's going to look really cool, I think. I think the green really makes it, or the blue really makes it stick out, pop it quite a bit. It looks pretty cool. The green is like, like a lime green, and I undercoated it with silver. So, it looks pretty cool. But anyway... I did not know that I was going to have to cut the front of this grill out to mount this thing in there, which is pretty disappointing. To me, Axel should have had that done for you, but whatever. Whatever. Um, so as far as the bumper is concerned, I don't have a bumper right now because I'm not putting that stock thing on there. It's too nasty. So I'm going to do some research and see if I can get uh, something quite scale looking. And even if I can't, uh, I may just put something behind the actual body body to support it from caving in. I kind of like this look. I still have yet to paint the bumper, as you can tell. But yeah, I like the look of the, the way it's going so far. So, the SDX-10 II, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, project I've had built for a while. Look at the back of it. That blue really looks nice. I still have to paint the back bumper, too, of course. Now, the back bumper I am going to use. It's just stock. That's fine. But the front bumper, uh-uh. You get hung up on too many too many items. So, yeah, hopefully I can get some driver figures in here. I actually appreciate this one more than the TRX4 because I actually had a hand in putting this all together, painting it, whatnot. So it's gonna be interesting to see what we have as a finished project. Hopefully I can get it running today. That's my goal anyway, is to be able to drive it today. And you know how it is with RC vehicles, guys, you're never really done. Just keep on tinkering with them until you get them to look fully the way you want it to look. But again, I think Axel did a, did a good job looking at, that's this picture of the stock one off the box. The box art, there's those big old tires. I think they look not to scale, personally. So I'm going to try the tires I got on there instead. But uh, it's a very well-built vehicle, highly recommended. I got mine at the time really cheap off of Amazon for like 260 last year, something like that. Got a waterproof box on it. Uh, but this still, I would have to say this. This S610 kit is really nice. But Traxxas has everybody beat, man, with the TRX4. Everybody. I mean, on the SCX102 kit that I have here, 
something that I don't like at the XTX10 that they do. Like the ball ends on this truck are plastic. You know, that's stupid. You know, this truck is like a top-notch truck, but yet they give you some raggedy ball ends. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The ball ends on these are like plastic, which is like a friction point. So you would hope they would give you metal ball ends like on the Traxxas. Again, that's why Traxxas is outshining everybody. You get your money's worth, you know. And uh, S the XTX10 too, they're getting smart about it though because they dropped the price a couple of dollars, like $29 or 50 bucks on this truck because they got a brand new one coming out. It's uh, a take off the Unimog. They call it the UN, UMG. Yeah, Unimog, close enough to it. But anyway, it's a take off of Unimog. So, so that's brand new and it's, it's coming out. And on that one, they actually dropped the price because they know they can't compete with the Traxxas TRX4. Just can't do it. I have a TRX4. I know what I'm talking about. As far as quality, they can't. Now, as far as trailing ability, I would think, I'm not a rock crawler. I'm just into RC trailing. I would think this one would be the best because it has a low center of gravity. And I really like that. I'm not looking at it. The SDX-10 has portal axles, but to me, it's not all about the portal axles. You know? I like realistic axles. I love the axles on this... Uh, on this uh, uh, um, uh, axle SCX10 2 I really like the axle a lot. They're smaller. They look more to scale. So that's really cool. Now, where they messed up on, not really messed up, but where they lacked out on is they don't have fender wheels for the rear. So I'm going to see if I can find somebody that makes aftermarket fender wheels because that's a really big plus. That way you keep all that gook and stuff off the inside of your chassis, off your battery, mud, whatever. So, yeah. The TRX4 is still raining, guys, but... Just thought I'd do a quick video on this, on my up and coming SCX-10 too. I think it looks really dope with the uh, lime green and the blue. I love it. I love it. But anyway, there you go. All right, DJ over and out.